Good morning, everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. 1980, California at Oakland. This is our athletics replay for 1980. We're using Fall Classic Baseball. And... Bases are loaded in the top of the fifth inning. The score right now is California 4 and Oakland 2. Brian Downing has two home runs, a solo shot in second, and a two-run shot in the third. Steve McCaddy is the starting pitcher, and he is in there, but he's on the verge of being pulled for uh, Mark Souza. And, um, again, Billy Ball is letting his pitcher go. So he's faced up to this point, he's faced uh, 25 batters. Campaneras will be his 26. Campaneras is two for two with a stolen base. He's been caught stealing twice, so he's been busy on the base paths. And uh, you have Carney Lansford at third, Rod Carew at second, and Brian Downing at first base. Here's the pitch to Bert Campaneras from Steve McCaddy. And that is a 24. That'll be a 1-3 to three hit by pitch. No, it's not. It's going to be a, some sort of an out. And a righty is going to ground out to the shortstop. Guerrero flips to Picciolo at second base. And McCaddy gets out of that inning with a fielder's choice. And that retires the side. So that's going to be no runs on one hit. But the Angels leave the bases loaded. And after four and a half, it is California four and Oakland two. Hey there, everybody. Frank Tanan has had quite a day. We are in the bottom of the eighth inning. It's 4-2 to two California Angels. And it's going to be McKay, <coughs> Edwards, and Picciolo. And since the second inning, uh, in which a run scored thanks to an error by the uh, second baseman, Cruz, Ever since that point, Frank Tanana has gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. He's retired 14 of the next 16 batters, allowing only two singles. So uh, he's really settled down after having a little bit of a bumpy, shaky start. And um, let's do this. Bottom of the eighth, 4 to 2 Angels. Frank Tanana is still in the game. Here goes. He is a C pitcher, by the way. That's a 56, and that's going to be a strike three. And McKay goes down on a curveball. Next is Mike Edwards. Edwards is one for two today. That's a 26 and a 26 versus lefty, and that's a ground ball and through into center field for a base hit against a lefty pitcher. So runner on first, and here's Rob Picciolo, and let's get a pinch hitter. And who are we going to bring in for, um, we got a lefty, who do we got on the bench? Let's take a quick peek. Um, Jim Essien is going to come in and pinch hit, so let's do that. So Essien comes in to pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth inning. <clears throat> go. Pitch to pinch hitter Jim Essien from Frank Tanana. He's the tying run. Home run here. We'll tie the game. It's 4-2 to two California in the bottom of the eighth inning. That's a 64. That was a close one. But it will not be. It's going to be an out and a 20 is going to be a line out to the second baseman L4. So he hits it right on the screws but right at second base and right there is Cruz. I think his name is Todd Cruz. And here's Ricky Henderson with one on and two out. Frank Tanana, left-handed thrower. He's a C pitcher today. Here's the pitch to, uh, to Henderson. That's a 45. That's a blank. And a 45 is going to be an out. A 19 is a fly ball right field. And in right field is Al Cowens. Comes over. And that retires the side. So no runs. One hit. And we go to the top of the ninth inning. It's 4-2 to two California. 
It is the bottom of the ninth. It's 5-2 to two California in our replay here using full classic baseball 1980 replay. It's going to be Frank Tanana who's going for a complete game uh, against Dwayne Murphy, Mike Heath, and Jeff Newman. Let's do this. That is going to be a 51. Oh, he feels the ball cleanly over to first and just gets Murphy hustling down the line. One out. <clears throat> so the A's are down to the last two outs here in the bottom of the ninth inning using fall classic baseball. Frank Tanana still on the mound. If he gives up a hit or a walk, he will be... No, he's gone 27, 20, 29. So he can go 30, and then we'll see what he does. Here's the pitch to Mike Heath. That's a 54. That's going to be a 54 chart check. And what's it say? It says roll versus E rating of the center fielder. Okay, so let's do that. His air rating is a four, so he makes a nice running catch in the gap, and that is two outs. So Tanana's one out away from a complete game victory against the Oakland A's in this second game of a doubleheader. Here is Jeff Newman. Newman today is one for three. Here's a pitch from Frank Tanana. And that's a 25, and that'll be an out. A 19 is a fly ball right field. Al Cowens coming over under it, and that's the ball game. Frank Tanana. Wins the second game of the doubleheader for the Angels, so there's a split on this Sunday doubleheader. And the A's win the first game. The Angels win the second game by a score of 5-2. to two. The win is going to go to Tanana. The loss is going to go to McCaddy, who went 5.1, 9 hits, 4 earned runs, 6 walks, 2 strikeouts, and gave up 2 home runs, both to Brian Downing. And that's about it. This is Fall Classic Baseball. This is Tony Porter. This is Cards and Dice TV. And thanks for watching.